morning everyone i hope you're well i'm starting a new vlog why do i look so pale on this camera i think in real life i don't look that pale i'm gonna be doing a vlog this week sorry that i didn't put up a video um for the last couple of weeks it wasn't like planned i would have told you if i was planning to take time off it was kind of unplanned time off just from youtube videos i've still been working and doing everything else i think the first week i just feel like i didn't have anything to post and i didn't want to just post something for the sake of it and then last week as you have probably heard from everyone the heat wave in london was unreal it was just like unbearable I, there's no way i could have filmed you guys just would have got like a sweaty mess complaining about the heat so i thought i would spare you that i don't really take time off like officially anyway so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna get on with some of the other things that i'm doing at the moment so today is a monday we just recorded this morning oh my god i could hear gray screaming downstairs gray has turned into a little bit of a toddler she's very sweet we love her to bits she's actually a really really good girl but like she's definitely changed so much over lockdown like before lockdown she couldn't even crawl and now she literally runs and she knows what she wants and she's like a little bit too young that like we can't really tell her off because she doesn't really understand so it's a little bit testing at times she's just like pretty active um so i can hear rich downstairs struggling i feel bad but i've literally just finished recording the podcast so i've got to get on with some work she'll be napping soon anyway i thought in today's vlog i would show you guys some of my empty products i've been collecting for quite a while i don't know officially like how long i've been collecting them for but i thought i'd talk you through the empty products and i can tell you like if i think it's worth repurchasing like how i felt about it i think they're all on my shelf actually let's go take a look these are the shelves in my office i actually have an igtv video where i show how i style these shelves so i will link that if you want to have a little watch and this is where i keep my empty products talking of igtv i have quite a few new things up there i did a video on 10 small brands you need to know I'm so happy with how that video came out. Um, so I'm chatting through 10 small brands that I love and there's some really good ones in there to discover. So I will link that down below, go have a watch. I've got the how I style my shelves video. I've got like a styling, how to style Veja trainers. And then if you haven't already seen my how to make homemade pita bread IGTV, I will link that down below as well. That one's got really good views because I think lots of you have been making them. So that is great, they're delicious. I've also been playing around with reels. What do you guys think about reels? This is like a new thing on Instagram. Obviously they're just trying to compete with TikTok and get some of the people from TikTok to come over to Instagram. But I also think it's a good opportunity for content creators like me. Um, I don't think I'll be doing kind of like fun lip sync type videos. But I think there's going to be some cool things that people can make. Like, just even if it's just like showing a snippet of your day. Stories only last 24 hours and then they disappear. No one really watches highlights. Videos on your like main grid are different. And also like the back end of reels, it makes it easy to edit and chop little videos together with filters and with music. I don't know. I think it's interesting. I'm giving it a go. So let me know how you guys feel about reels. Let's do the empties now, actually, and then I'm going to go downstairs and make some lunch because I'm very hungry. <laughs> okay, I've got my basket of empties here. So I thought I would just pull stuff out and have a little chat. Some of these things might be quite old. I don't even know what's in here. Actually, first of all, I can see there's not one, not two, but three <laughs> Clinique take the day off balms i mean can you tell what my favorite cleanser is this is the first cleanser i use in the evening to take my makeup off with it's a solid balm so you scoop a little bit out rub it in your hands and, or rub it onto your face and it like turns into an oil and it just kind of removes all your makeup it just melts your makeup off your face it's fragrance free very like inoffensive my skin does not react to it and i just like go through them actually quite quickly i probably use too much but i like to really use it also to kind of like massage my face whilst cleansing and i will just keep repurchasing forever and ever and ever i like to try other cleansers too but then i tend to use those more as like a second cleanse or a morning cleanse i just feel like this is perfect to take my makeup off with i've got a couple of candles in here as well this one is by so soho melbourne or so I don't really know what the brand is actually. This is what it looks like. I got this from Workshop Living, one of my favorite shops in Brighton. They also have a website. Rich just brought me a coffee. What a guy. 
really really needed that yes yeah, so if you would like to support a small brand i actually mentioned them in my small brands video they're called workshop living owned by two guys who are just the nicest guys ever so this candle is called plume and i bought this when i was last there i just really loved the the navy look of the candle it looks very smart but oh my god when i burn this candle oh, even now it smells like their shop i think this is what they had burning when i went it smells like a gorgeous masculine good looking man oh it's so nice i would definitely get another one of those i don't know if i'd like order it online but next time i go there i always look at the candles that they have because they're always good um and this is definitely one i would recommend the next candle is a diptyque bay candle classic one of my faves it's up there with the diptyque fig candle bay has like blackberry notes in it it's very similar to their perfume which is like i don't know it's something in french that i definitely can't pronounce l'ombre i can never say that perfume but it's my favorite perfume from diptyque and this is kind of the candle that matches that oh so nice another candle that has a little bit left in the bottom i obviously couldn't finish it properly this is from joe malone and it's the wild fig and cassis have they discontinued this they might have just discontinued the perfume version of this which is such a shame i feel like brands always discontinue my favorite candles and perfumes i love joe malone as a brand and the wild fig and cassis again it's got that cassis in it i love that scent i've also got a white company um diffuser that's cassis I always know I'm going to love it if it's got that in it. And anything fig and earthy, those are just my favourite scents. Um, this is so nice, it reminds me of my wedding. I feel like you're not meant to down coffee, but I can't help it. Can't believe I never used to drink coffee. Okay, next up in here, we have an Elizabeth Arden Fragrance Free 8 Hour Cream. I don't use this as much anymore on my lips mainly i think because they're better but i found this really helpful when my lips were really swollen it really brought down the swelling calmed it if you've never used eight hour cream before from elizabeth arden it's like an all over all purpose balm you can use it on chapped lips elbows frizzy bits on your hair you can make your eyelids glossy with it it's just a balm that it works on anything really i like the fragrance free version i don't love the scent of the original one and this was great when my lips were really bad and eczema -y. oh look i've got a cute little mini diptyque bay candle that's so sweet for my hair i've got olaplex number three if you've never used is it olaplex or olaplex i think olaplex it sounds better this i think i first tried in a salon and then this is the at home version the number three often salons would use i think maybe number one or number two or something this one's from cult beauty it has the cult beauty approved sticker on it and it's just so great for like an intense moisture for your hair pretty sure i've got another one in the shower at the moment if not i will definitely be repurchasing it it works so well on my hair if you've got kind of dry damaged hair this really helps to repair it i did a job with this product it's the kate somerville delicate recovery serum I've almost finished the moisturizer that goes along with this and then the cleanser i love but it's huge so i haven't finished it yet this is a really lovely hydrating sit oh jesus this is a really lovely hydrating serum it says it's for stress skin like yeah my skin did not react to it at all just left it feeling really hydrated and moisturized um i used this like after cleansing before moisturizing i think i mainly used this one in the morning really lovely range if you have sensitive skin another one for hair oh these are a little bit grubby actually this is from a brand called virtue i picked this up in space nk i just heard loads about the brand it's a keratin product so it says recovery shampoo cleanse replenish nourish again perfect for my hair Oh yeah, I like this because it says it's free from sulfates, parabens, ugh, and dyes, colours, all kinds of things really. If you are doing the curly girl method, um, if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. Then you can't use sulfates and parabens and stuff, so something like this would be great. Silicones. Has it got silicones in? Ooh, doesn't specify actually. But even if you're not, like I always try to use sulfate-free shampoo, both for the condition of my hair and for my eczema and stuff. I really like this. I would definitely buy from Virtue again. Oh, this was such a treat. This is from Cowshed. It's the Uplifting Bath and Shower Gel. I just love Cowshed. Oh my God, I could live in a Cowshed. The beauty industry is finally reopened again and I went for a pedicure at Cowshed. Oh my God, it's just... It's my favourite thing ever. It really is. I was on the Emma Guns um, podcast recently and I was talking about how it's one of the few things I feel really 
like I don't get any guilt or regret when spending money on. The way it makes me feel is like priceless. So anyway, I kind of went off track there, but I love the brand Cowshed. I love everything they do. Their shower gels, they've got a gorgeous one for when you're pregnant. This just smells gorgeous. I actually think I'll scent this one. Essential oils with red mandarin, bitter orange and grapefruit. Yeah, because it's uplifting, it's very citrusy. I love their like relaxing scents as well. The best gift if you want to buy someone something, look at the Cowshed stuff. Got one of Grey's empties in here. This is the Child's Farm Baby OT Bubbles. We love Child's Farm. Doesn't react on her skin at all. Um, just really nice, good for sensitive skin. And these are just like the bubbles that we use in her bath. We go through a lot of those actually. I've got some makeup as well. I've got a couple of It Cosmetics CC creams. I no longer use this foundation. I think it's a fab foundation, um, but I'm being more conscious now about the products that I use and the shade range they have on offer. And I've emailed all the brands behind the scenes of the products that I've stopped using instead of just stopping to use them. I've also tried to kind of do my bit, email the brands, encourage them to look closer at their shade range. So stay tuned. Hopefully it cosmetics, you know, will do something about their shade range because it's a lovely foundation. The same with Bare Minerals. Um, some of the Bare Minerals products are have a really good shade range and some don't. I've spoken about this before in a video, but it's not necessarily how many shades there are. It's the ratio, you know, there could be like 30 shades, but then if only two of them are dark, that's, there's something off there. Um, I am now using a Shiseido concealer, which I really, really love actually. Um, but this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro, which I was using before. I've got a couple of eyebrow pencils. I didn't realize I kind of used eyebrow pencils that often that I could finish them, but apparently I do. This is from Benefit and it's the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I just love a brow pencil that has a spoolie on one end, even though I actually don't use it that often, but I like having the option. And then a thin pencil on the other. I don't like it when they're thick. You know, like the thick pencils that are slanted. I end up making my brows too bushy. So I just like a really thin pencil because I literally just fill in the front parts and then the arch. I really need my eyebrows threaded. So I have two of those. What shades do I use? four and 4.5. I don't think I'm that fussy when it comes to shades. As long as it's like some sort of medium brown shade, it works for me. I've got an Aven Skin Recovery Cream in the Rich. And then I've also got another one of these in my bathroom right now that's almost finished. This is the perfect, like just neutral, easy moisturizer. Like if you have sensitive skin, if you're worried about your skin reacting, like this is what um, Dr. Emma Wedgworth told me to use when my skin and my eczema was at its worst. She was like, just chill out with the skincare, take it back to basics and use the Aven Skin Recovery Cream. So that's a good one to always know I can go back to. And I like to use it as like a morning moisturizer. I've also got a mascara from Milk and this is not finished. Um, this is an I'm not going to use it one and you can't pass on mascaras because you're not really meant to share eye products. It's not very clean and safe. Uh, this is their Kush Mascara, and I just, I can't even remember why I didn't like it. I like the packaging, it's a nice weighty brush. It's got like a really big fluffy brush, but I just think, I remember thinking like it just doesn't do much for my lashes, and I think it was a bit wet, it smudged a bit on me, and I just know instantly when I'm not a fan of mascara, and that one was not for me. And then I've got one more Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. That is everything, done. I kind of would repurchase pretty much all of those and I guess that's going to be a theme because I probably would only finish it if I liked it. If I didn't like it, I'd probably pass it on to someone. So anything that's finished is going to be a good one. I just think this is so funny. Like, have you ever known someone to be such a fan of a cleanser before that I have a tower of empties? <laughs> we ordered Twiglets this week in our online food shop and I haven't had them for years. They're really underrated. Are you a fan of Twiglets? Let me know in the comments down below. Mm. You guys haven't seen Rich for a while. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. Tell them what we've got for lunch. So, Gray and I went to Pick Your Own Farm last week, got some sweet corn. So we cooked roasted sweet corn with the courgettes we also picked. And then I went to the fruit and veg shop today to get some mushrooms onions and some other bits. So I've just basically chucked all in a frying or a roasting tin with some paprika, cumin and olive oil. Is that what you went this morning to buy to the veg shop? Mm -hmm. Oh. I've saved some for grey for later on as well. Did she like it? Fruit shop. Did they give her free fruit again? Fig. 
They gave her a fig. They always give her something while you're shopping. She devoured it. That's so cute. Yeah, she loved it. Oh my god, Rich just told me that he bought me a present from the cafe earlier. Kinder surprise. Anyone else love these? It's the best chocolate. I'm such a huge Kinder fan. I have those little tiny Kinder chocolates in the fridge and that's like what I eat. I have like one a night. Oh, it's the best chocolate, isn't it? Wait. Before I, if that offended anyone, I just like ate into the egg. I want to see what my toy is. Mmm, it's like milk chocolate and white chocolate. And then inside you get a toy. Oh no, this is one of the ones you have to build. <laughs> oh, no. I hate those. I'd much rather when it's like an actual toy. I'm not sure if I have the patience or time. Here you go, Rich, if you get bored during nap time. I'm trying to experiment with some more kind of like self shooting um, because obviously I have no one to help me take photos and stuff. Rich can help sometimes when Gray's napping, but it's quite hard to rely on him for that. Um, but I've just discovered so many people on Instagram who like pride themselves on taking their own photos using a tripod um, and their like phone as a remote. So although I do lots of like mirror photos, I don't often do this tripod thing. So I'm practicing and giving this a go today. Um, I need to prove to myself that I can do this on my own. Excuse me, can you come back with my eyebrow pencil, please? Grey's favourite thing is beauty products. What can I say? She's obsessed. So now she's stealing all my empties. Oh my God, Rich just taught Grey to whistle. I'm so jealous, I can't whistle. So cute, she goes, <laughs> makes a whistle sound. So jealous. Very weird snack I've got going on here. Matzo with peanut butter and two custard creams. It's all I could really find. I haven't actually checked in for a little while. I've been shooting some Instagram stuff, um, talking to Anna. What have I even been doing? I feel like I've been sitting here for ages. I don't even know what I've been doing, but it's now 20 past five. I'm now just planning an Instagram job that I've got coming up. Just kind of brainstorming some ideas, although I'm not feeling that creative at the moment. Actually talking about being creative, that's what today's podcast is all about, like tips for working from home and staying motivated. I really, really should go for a run. Oh, it's this lead up, it's the lead up to doing it that I find really hard. I just don't want to. Like, Rich is gonna be home soon. I just wanna cuddle and play with Grey and like help with bedtime. I don't wanna put on workout clothes and go for a run. I'm doing couch to 5K. I'm on week four, run two. So that's a five minute warm up walk, a three minute run, a 90 second walk, a five minute run, which is so hard for someone that doesn't run a two and a half minute walk, a three minute run, a 90 second walk, and then a five minute run, and then a five minute walk. My sister's gone away, so I've lost my running partner, and that massively helps, like when you, when you, someone else is going and you don't wanna let them down. Mm. I have to though, because if I don't do it, then it's just so much harder, and I'm having my mole removed in September, and I'm not gonna be allowed to exercise or do anything for like three weeks, so I feel like I should do as much as I can now, because I think the further I get, the easier it will be, because last time I quit on like week two, and then I had to start from the beginning. If anyone else is doing Couch to 5K, let me know how you are getting on. It's hard, it's really hard. The hardest bit is actually just getting out the house. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait for Rich to come back. I need to see Grey, I miss her. I haven't seen her all day properly. And then I think when he starts doing her bath, um, then I will go because then it's just like milk and bedtime. I think he must be at my sister's giving her dinner because it's like past her dinner time and I don't know where they are. I just saw Rich pull up outside. I'm just gonna get my stuff ready. These are the shorts that I bought from Nike. Can you see, they're like tight underneath and then loose on top, but actually it's rainy and cold, so I'm not gonna wear shorts. I've got Lululemon leggings, they'll do. And then this sports bra is just from M&S. I actually bought this just after, I had grey, like a few months after when I started doing exercise. I don't know how good it is actually, but it's fine. And then this top, this is a workout top just from H&M that's thin. Actually, is it gonna be too cold? Nah, I'll be running, it'll be fine. 
Oh my god, I really need to go through my wardrobe. Do you guys listen to music or podcasts when you run? I feel like podcasts would work better because you don't get bored. But when the app is talking to you and it's like, right, you've only got two minutes to go, uh, take some deep breaths and, you know, like coaches you through it, then you're like missing out on the podcast and that would really annoy me. It doesn't pause the podcast. So if any of you have any like answers to that, I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, but that's why I don't tend to listen to things. Like when I was listening to Emma Gannon's audio book, I didn't want to do it whilst running because I didn't want to miss out on bits. But I am getting quite bored of my playlist now. Hooray! She's laughing or crying? Laughing. <gasps> Grey! <gasps> oh, what's wrong? I missed you. Oh, lovely cuddle. I always take my makeup off before I run because I just think it's gross otherwise. Guys, no chance no chance i'm going running in this weather i'm sorry that's not a bit of rain that's like full-on torrential rain i'm i'm not that crazy i only washed my hair last night i think instead i will just edit this vlog have a productive evening and maybe i'll run tomorrow night